swivel back. All right, swivel back so you don't break it. And look at this, look at this, guys. Look at this, look at this. Just close it back in here and it stays just like that. Today, we're gonna bring a swivel, the sidetrack, it's a monitor. It's a perfect monitor for those that are gonna be working from home and you need that extra monitor, but you don't have the space. You can use this for your laptop and I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up. Uh, it's a smaller screen, of course, than any laptop that you have, but it gives you that comfort of extending your monitor. So if you're gonna be streaming and sitting on it and you wanna see your views or your chat, this is a perfect way to do it. If you're gonna do uh, spreadsheets, this is a perfect way to actually see the whole documentation under teams you can have your teams and then you can watch what you're actually monitoring it's you have that second option now this is a perfect thing obs it works perfect for obs so if you're going to be streaming you can monitor your obs system and playing the game at the same time without interfering you can clone the screen or you could actually extend the stream. So we're gonna go ahead and set it up and see how you get what you get when you get something like this and what else you can use it for. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right what you get first of all it's a magnet to open it up on the side of it they give you a nice little screen, all right? So let's go ahead and pull it out if you guys can see it. Um, it has this, this connection that you have to set up on your computer, right? And we're gonna set it up in a bit right now, but I just wanna show you guys how flexible this thing is, all right? Um, and this monitor itself, it's light, really light. There's a couple of buttons. Let's go ahead and review the button. Uh, you have your HDMI, your micro HDMI, and then they gave you the type C. Now. This is gonna be powered up with type C, all right? Just to let you guys know, they do give you a converter too. But uh, this this comes with great features that I'm gonna show you exactly what to do, first of all. And just to let you know that some of the stuff that's in here, it's pretty unique, especially the actual connection. So if you guys notice in the back of the screen, there's actually some metal objects here. here. These actually attach to a magnet, all right? They also include that in here, and I'm gonna show you guys right now. Um, there's two magnets they include two of them. They have double-sided tape, 3M, and they're really, really powerful. When you actually attach them, you'll be able to kind of uh, set them up without even worrying about falling off. Now they give you two, all right? You're just gonna require one, but just in case it starts peeling off or you have another laptop you wanna share it to, you can have that option too. Really good option that they give you two of them. They give you the actual cables, and if you guys can see, it has the HDMI, and here's the adapter I was talking about. So it has a sleeve that it has the HDMI type A or type C to C. So if you have a computer that has type C, it's gonna go directly through it. You don't need it, need this type C to type C or type A to type C, either one. You have that option. And then of course they give you the micro HDMI and a large and a large HDMI, a regular HDMI, if you guys can see that. Well, the template's pretty easy, but because I have a larger screen, I wanted to do by pretty much but what you can do is you actually set this up and this it tells you a line to the top and to the bottom right and you pretty much it shows you step by step how to set it up and how to where to place it and put the magnet in there that's pretty much how you do it right all right just to be aware the screen is a 60 hertz all right this is a 60 hertz and it's a 1920 by 1080 all right so we're gonna set it up into this monitor here itself. The card, you can remove it if you want. They give you that card to remove it. So let's go ahead and set it up. All right, so here we have it, guys. We got the monitor set up. If you guys can see it, it's perfectly lined up. I like it. It's a little bit tiny off, but I'm not worried about that. This is actually pretty good. Now, the good thing is about the monitor. You move the monitor back and forward, it moves with it. Now, to make it eye level, the good thing is that this is movable, right? It's adjustable, left or right, you know, up or down. And there's only one cable that you got to worry about it, and it's type C to type C, it goes into it. And the monitor is looking great right now. So if you're going to stream, uh, I'm going to show you exactly what you can do and how it's going to look like when you're streaming and you're going to be able to see your chat, your super chats, your OBS, uh, and then you have your actual system here. Or you're gonna, you could have your documentations and you could have the actual Teams meeting on this side with the video camera. All right, let's take a look at the actual buttons, all right? So you have two buttons in here. You got the brightness and that's pretty much goes all the way high, all the way low. That's pretty much what you control right now. This is one right here, and this is two right here. We're gonna go ahead and drag it over there. You guys can see it, drag it back. Swivel back, all right, swivel back so you don't break it. And look at this, look at this, guys. Look at this, look at this. Just close it back in here, and it stays just like that. 
just ready to go on the road. You don't have to worry about anything. And, and it doesn't move too much because of the magnet. All right, guys, so this is the setup. If you guys can see, I'm actually on camera right now, but I'm trying to show you guys how easy it is. I have my OBS on this side. I have my gaming system on here, so I'm ready to go. You can record pretty much what you want. You can see your plays. You can see the chat on this side, and then you can be gaming. All right, so you guys got your setup in here. Very simple, right? Now, you, you want to use different options. You don't have to use the actual magnet. We're going to take it off if you guys can see it. And then all we got to do is reverse it. That's pretty much what we do if you guys can see that. And you just put it down on the floor like that. And it will automatically go into it. If you guys see that. As long as the quarry reaches, that's about it, you know. So you can just set it up like that. You don't need to be back there. You don't need the magnets. You can use this standalone uh if you want it you could even flip it well, this way if you want it. if you're a writer so if you're writing papers and you're a student and you're working side by side on the computer you could put your word document they flip the horizontally flip the screen have your second screen here you can see one screen and in your paperwork or if you're like a say a streamer you guys again can see i have my nintendo switch in here i have it set up right now uh, in order to play with it, you wouldn't have to, to just tell the system to show only one of them and keep as it is. So we're, we could be working and playing at the same time. Um, we could set up a Nintendo Switch. We could set up a PlayStation. We pretty much set up anything that HDMI can handle. Um, the only thing that you're going to have that you need to probably connect is your audio because the monitor does not contain any audio. So we're able to, to actually set up the whole thing together here. If you guys can see, I have all my systems ready. Um, pretty much you could play anything on the actual screen that, that you could, that it could handle. It could handle pretty much anything from Xbox to PlayStation to the Nintendo Switch. And this is just a demo of like I'm showing you. I have my monitor here and my secondary monitor here. So I could be playing and working at the same time so that's another option you can do so i hope you guys enjoy the